In this video, we'll explore how to organize and view media and documents in Stash. Stash displays your collection in a thumbnail grid. Use the settings to configure whether titles are shown beneath the thumbnails for different media types. Reorder items by drag and drop. Tap and hold a thumbnail to begin a drag. Hover over the edge of the grid to scroll while dragging. You can also let Stash sort for you. Tap your chosen sort again to reverse its order. You may have noticed the standard copy and paste menu appear when we began our drag. In addition to copying and pasting to the clipboard, Stash supports select and info options. Info brings up the item's info panel. As a shortcut, on the iPad you can also tap any thumbnail with two fingers to see its info. In addition to showing you the item's import date, view count, last viewed date, and any metadata, the info panel lets you edit the title, assign a rating, and edit keywords. The select option is a shortcut to selecting a single item. The more common way to enter select mode is with the action button in the upper right. Just tap to select items. Tap again to deselect. You can edit the info for multiple selections at once. You can also export selections back to iTunes, to the Photos app, or attach them to an email. Email export may not be available if the items you've selected are too big to attach. This is often the case with videos. Use the Add button to add items to your custom albums, or delete items from Stash. The Add and Delete menus are enhanced when selecting items from an album. Let's create an album of models to see this in action. When you create an album, you can choose an optional parent album. Stash can nest albums to any depth. On the iPad, when you select a parent album, its children expand below it. When you select another album, they contract. Also note that our parent album shows us its own content plus any additional content in its child albums. To change an existing album's name, poster image, or parent album, or to delete albums, use the Edit button. If you delete a parent album, its child albums are deleted as well. Deleting albums does not delete their content from Stash, though. All of your content is always in your library. Now let's see how the Add and Delete buttons are enhanced in an album. When we are adding from one album to another, we can choose whether to copy the selected items or move them, which will remove them from the current album. Similarly, when we tap Delete, we have the option of removing the item from the current album rather than deleting it from the library altogether. If we are in a parent album and we include nested content in our selection, however, we lose these abilities. They only apply to items in the current album. Every album remembers its own item ordering and sort. Again, though, you can't reorder items from nested albums. They're shown in the order they appear in your library. Now that we've covered how to manually organize content in standard albums, let's see how Stash can organize for us using smart albums. We'll create an album containing all items whose title or keywords contain actress and whose rating is above 3. You can also include criteria based on the media type, when an item was imported or last viewed, and how many times an item has been viewed. It would be easy to create an album for unviewed items or videos you hadn't watched in at least a month, for example. You can even create a smart album of all your items that are missing keywords or aren't categorized into other custom albums. Stash automatically searches your entire library and displays the matching results. Stash also keeps the album up to date at all times. If we drop an item's rating to 3 or below, for example, the item disappears from the album. You can tell Stash how to sort smart albums, but because their results are dynamic, you can't manually reorder them. And because Stash determines the content of the album based on your criteria, you can't manually move or remove items from the album. Still, smart albums are a powerful way to organize your content. Even if you don't plan on using smart albums, assigning titles and keywords is still useful. Stash can instantly search any album or your entire library. You can even start a slideshow with just the displayed results. 
We haven't seen slideshows or viewing items in general yet. Let's explore that now. Some Stash versions include document support. To view a document, just tap it. Pinch or double tap to zoom. Tap to reveal the viewer controls. You can edit the title, add keywords, and assign a rating. The bottom toolbar gives you the same functionality as the delete, add, and export buttons we saw previously. It also has a back button for documents with links in them, and it includes a button that allows you to open the document in other applications on your device. Just tap the Done button to exit the viewer. On the iPad, you can pinch any image or video thumbnail to expand it. Just tap to view it in full screen slideshow mode. As in the document viewer, a tap reveals the controls. Again, you can assign a rating, edit the title, and add keywords. Toggle slide shuffling on or off at any time. The slideshow settings include several additional options. Press play to start a slideshow. The controls automatically hide after a few seconds of inactivity, or just tap again to hide them manually. Videos have several extra controls. There's a timeline scrubber at the top, 10 second jump buttons, a slow and fast motion toggle, and a volume slider. The camera control snapshots the current frame as a separate image or to replace the video's thumbnail. Stash remembers your place in videos over 5 minutes long. If you're within 30 seconds of the beginning or end though, Stash will assume you want to start at the beginning next time. You can always swipe to skip to the previous or next slide, or jump to any item in the current album. Zooming works as expected. Use the Done button or just pinch in from an unzoomed item to dismiss. Visit Stash on the App Store or at hedonicsoftware.com for more information.